What's up guys, welcome to Mikey Yourself. And for today's video, we're gonna swap out the original stock you know, OEM rear light on the 07 uh, Road King to an upgraded LED version. So let's take a look at what that LED light looks like. All right, so here's the LED we're gonna be installing. And uh, this was an LED that was sent to us uh, by the brand uh, Zenogo. Um, I believe that's how it's pronounced, G-X-E-N-O-G-O. -O. And uh, this is great. Again, comes with instructions, so that's always a plus. And this actually covers kind of a wide range of bikes. So I'm really curious to see what this looks like. So let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. And I can tell you right now, the weight is, it, that's nice, right? Like typically the lighter an object is, uh, especially when it comes to technology, you get kind of leery of it. And uh, this one has actually got some weight to it. So uh, I don't know what all makes it heavy, but uh, this is probably gonna be about one of the easiest LED installations I've done. So uh, we'll take off that cover, kind of see what it looks like. So it's got a smoked out lens, which means I'm gonna have to smoke those out then. Um, and it is just a simple brake light. It doesn't have uh, turn signals in it, which is fine. That's not what I wanted. Um, and then it's got an LED uh, light there for your license plate, so that way you stay legal. Let's take a look at the back side, and it comes with. I'm assuming this is going to be the same plug that plugs in on the back side of that. And you got two pins. And according to the instructions here, the red wire is your brake light and the white wire is your running light. And the reason they're not inserted is because depending on which bike you're installing this on, it may vary. So what does that mean? That means we're gonna need a couple of tools to do this installation, right? So uh, I'm thinking probably two tools, maybe a third if we have to pull those, or yeah, if we have to pull the pin back out. But if we get it right the first time, then we don't have to do it again. So let's talk about the two tools we're gonna use. Simple Phillips screwdriver, that way we can get to those two Phillips screws on each side. And then we're gonna use a, uh, uh, a 12 volt tester here. So it's just got that little light bulb in there. You ground this side. And the reason we're gonna use this is we just wanna confirm what slot uh, those pins need to be in. So that way when we plug it in, it all works as it's expected to. So this should be very, very easy. And uh, we'll get started. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that tail light lens off and uh, get out that wiring. All right, so I've got those two screws out. Again, super, super simple. They're actually, it looks like they're captive. Cap, captive, what the hell? Captive, um, which means they just, they're, oh, well, no, I lied. They come out. So anyhow, be careful of that. You don't want to lose those. In fact, that you're going to have to reuse them for this new uh, fixture that you're putting on. So you want to take those out. And I'm leaving this plugged in at the moment so we can take a look at kind of what uh, this setup looks like. So here's your plug, very simple. And if you look, the ground is on the right side of this connector. So it's ground, red with a yellow stripe, and then it looks like just blue. So if you hold the new connector up to it, you can see the ground is in the far right side. So now we just need to figure out which one is which on these. Now, if you have a wiring diagram for your bike, then that's easy, right? But for us, I don't have my wiring diagram, which is something I need to figure out, like I need to get one. Um, so for now, we're gonna just do some uh, old school testing here. So we're just gonna go ahead and ground out our testing light. We'll switch on our power. And we should get voltage. So that one didn't light up. I might not have pierced it. That one's on. So what that tells me is this is gonna be our, the red yellow is gonna be our brake light. Blue, far left is gonna be our um, running light, okay? So if looking at this connector, there's four pinholes. So they skip this second one here. And I think it's actually 
they're numbered on here. So it goes one, two, three, four. So we need running, skip, break. So let's go ahead and we'll wire that up really quick here just by doing it while it's in our hand. So same process. So we said running is our white wire. So that's gonna go over here to the far left. And you may have to figure out which way is up, which way is down on the pin, there you go. And then skipping number two and putting our red wire into number three. Now again, if you goof this up, you can remove those pins. Uh, just pay attention to where they lock. I believe it's on this top side, so you'd have to get like a small um, uh, paper clip or something like that. Get it in the front and you can pull it out. Or if you have an extraction kit, pin extraction kit, even better. So we're going to go ahead and turn off the power so we can go ahead and unplug that and avoid shorting anything out. All right, so before we put this thing on and get it fully installed, I want to take a quick second to, to take a look at this product just because, again, the, the folks uh, uh, at uh, Snogo sent, took the time to send this over to us um, to do an honest product review. And guys, if you don't see a video, if, if, if you think that just because somebody sends me something, I'm going to speak positive about it. Um, that's not true. Um, you know, the videos that I post, I only post those that are worthy products because if it's not worthy, I'm not going to waste your time. I don't, you know, I've already wasted my time if that's the case, right? So, you know, you know that if I'm showing you a product that it's worthwhile and if it's not, I'm sending it back, right? So you would never see that video again, just not to waste anybody's time and not to slam any vendor, right? Like, you know, th these folks are all trying to make a living, so I'm not going to just, you know, slam somebody for the sake of, of, of doing it. So let's let's take a look at this thing. It is .SAE um, approved, according to the stamps here. So it uh, should be good. It is a sealed unit. So, you know, it shouldn't get any water or anything like that in there. And it's got a really nice rubber seal around this. That's pretty good, too. And again, your connector. So it, it's so simple. Like... I, I'm telling you, this is probably one of the easiest installs I've done next to the light bulbs, right? Like two screws and a bulb. It's almost the exact same thing, except for the fact you have to plug in the two different pins to, based on whatever vehicle or, or, or bike model you have. So we'll go ahead and plug it in and take a look. All right, guys, so let's take a quick like side-by-side -side view of this thing. This looks great. I, I'm going to have to smoke these lenses here um yeah you know <laughs> it, it, it just it doesn't match up um but that's something i probably would be doing anyways i did it for my road glide so um i'm sure it was just a matter of time before i decided to do that um but this is kind of the difference i went from this old school um and and don't get me wrong old school is cool some stuff i i like to see i like to keep Hence why I've got the giant long bar here and I'm not switching this up to the little um, newer version bar. I know they make conversions on that, but I like this look on the Road Kings. But uh, LEDs are the way to go and this thing looks great on there. Just kind of sitting there, like I said, if you compare it side by side, it's a ton better. It just looks much, much more sleeker and um, kind of fits the, the look of the bike a little bit better. So uh, let's see what it looks like in the dark. So check it out. It looks pretty darn good. That's pretty cool. I like that. I think it would be kind of cool like if, if you had, um, what is it, like a Dyna or something like that where they don't have the turn signals and it's kind of integrated. You can get it integrated into your brake light. If those like arrow looking shapes, if they did blink, that would be pretty solid. Um, maybe that's a, a future upgrade or they may have a different model. That, that might be the thing is... This is made for this bike, so it doesn't have that ability, um, but perhaps some of their other, model, other models do. So let's take a look at it with the brake applied. There you go. All 
All right, guys, that installation really doesn't get any easier. There was one little tricky part, and I, I, I use the word tricky very, very loosely in that when you're putting this in, that chrome trimming that remains on your fender, you need to just make sure you tuck that weather stripping part. You get that underneath the lip first. Um, so you kind of just, you know, install it at a little bit of an angle. Once you're underneath, then you just plop it down, put your screws in. I put some blue Loctite on the screws just in case. Uh, I had screws come out of my Evo, the soft tail, and uh, yeah, I don't want that happening again. So I put that on just to be sure that it ain't gonna come loose. Uh, other than that, simple, right? Two screws, the connector, the two pins you plug in based on your model, a quick test, you're done. It, it really is one of the simplest uh, installation. I, I wish I had that kind of uh, technology when I had my fat boy because that thing was, a, 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 you know, you had to wire everything, right? It's just how it was, you know, older technology. Uh, so check these guys out. This is Zenogo GXENOGO. Uh, they have a Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube uh, set up. You know, based on what I can tell you right now, and we're going to put some time on this thing, like I do all of the products where I come back and do a review Wednesday to make sure that, hey, you know, I'll tell you what was the experience after I put some use onto it, right? Because things sometimes, they, they either work or don't work. You got to give them time to burn in, right? It's just how it is. But right up front, the quality of this thing feels great. It's it's not like some cheesy, lightweight, you know, poorly constructed thing. It's very solid. It looks sealed very well. The fact that it had that nice rubber seal around it was another plus. And the instructions, you know, even though, you know, it's very minimal. I mean, they give you pictures too, which is great. Like that's far above a lot of the other folks out there. Um, and the wiring part of it, huge, huge, right? It could have been left for your imagination, which a lot of companies will do, but these folks, they do not. So check them out. I'll put a link to this particular um, model in the description below. And then, uh, you know, if you have another uh, Harley, um, check them out because they probably have a model that fits your bike and, and maybe they have that turn signal ability. Like I was saying, I'm not sure you'd have to go and check, but um, yeah. So we're gonna put some time on it and come back eventually and, and we'll do another review on it. Uh, I hope you liked this video. I hope it brought you some value here. If you did, if it did, hit that thumbs up. If you enjoy our content, become a subscriber. And if you don't wanna miss out on the next video, hit the notification bell. Like I said, guys, I'm only bringing you the stuff that I found has either worked or seemed worthy, right? Like I'm bringing it to you so that way you have an informed decision, or if you're not sure which way to go, then you see my video, you see the product, you get my feedback on it. And if, if I'm putting it up there for you to see, it's because I think it's a worthy product. And again, a lot of us have to build on a budget and I'm always looking for those opportunities for quality products, but at a discounted price, right? So until that next video post, I hope to see you in the wind.